Mr. Johnson, it's Steve. Um, I'm feeling really sick and I think I just need to call out today. I want to try and make an appointment with my doctor. Uh, try and get an antibiotic. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi Steve, Dr. Getlong. Hey, Doc. <coughs> <coughs> right. Well, uh, Nurse Ann says you have a cold today. Sore throat? Yeah, sore throat. I'm really stuffy. So my throat's killing me. Alright, let's take a strep test. Okay, I'm gonna get this to the lab and see what's going on. Okay. Hey Doc, I'm gonna need an antibiotic, right? Well, we'll see. We'll have to look at the strep test first. Okay. Alright, Steve, good news. You don't have strep. Uh, it's most likely a viral infection, which should resolve in a few days. So you don't need antibiotic this time. Wait, I don't need an antibiotic? No, nope, you can just take some cold medicine that you can get down at the pharmacy, and you should be feeling better within a few days. Okay. Alright, have a good day. Thanks, Doc. I hope this works, Callie. My eyes have been killing me. Well, that was quick. My eyes better already. Don't need this anymore. Oh my god. I thought I got rid of this thing. Using antibiotics inappropriately can eventually make our medicines ineffective. This is called antibiotic resistance. Not to mention, taking the wrong antibiotic can let your infection continue to spread and make you sicker. Sometimes, you just don't need an antibiotic to feel better. Your doctor will be the best. You can do your part in preventing antibiotic resistance by following these simple rules. Only take prescription medicines that are prescribed you. Trying to treat yourself with a wrong antibiotic can lead to serious problems. Use your antibiotic for as long as directed by your doctor or pharmacist. Don't save any unused medication to use later. And remember, see your doctor or pharmacist if you have any questions about your medications. <laughs>